Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to yet another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video, and today is going to be another one of those little speculation videos. Uh, I seem I, I really enjoy doing them, and it looks like the community enjoys uh, me doing them as well, so I figure why not? Today, we all know that LR, Kel, and Khalifa are getting their easy A, and I am expecting something good from them. I, I, I hopefully just just runnable. At least if it if they're even Beerus, uh, LR Beerus and Whis level, they'll be really, really strong. I'm just going to go over uh, what I'd like to see, so it's not going to be too long of a video. And I also want to kind of split this video in half and talk about who I think the Part 2 LR could be. Uh, and I think everybody's probably going to know who what my first guess is going to be. Um, but let's just hold off until Part 2 of the video. <laughs> and then we'll talk about it, right? Um, but anyway, I'm going to cut. We're going to go over to the Dokkan Wiki and talk about uh, LR Khan Khalifa's, you know, passive skill there's leader skill and everything like that and what i'd like to see change from the eza all right everybody so here we are on the dokkan wiki uh, we have lr kellen khalifa here and i also have some uh, an example character pulled up and, and you'll see why in a, in a little bit right but so far well, the kellen khalifa we have in game right now uh, their category, their leader skill is Joint Forces category key plus four, uh, HP attack and defense third, one hundred and thirty percent, or AGL key plus four, HP attack and defense a hundred percent, and that's fine, right? Not really, not anymore, right? But, but like, you're not running this character as a leader anyway, even when they easy a, um, right? But like, like characters in the past that they have done, uh, and I'm I'm gonna bring them up in a little bit. Uh, this and this are fine uh but we have god goku right and his easy a uh he was pure sands and hybrid sands hp uh key plus four hp attack and defense 130 percent and i'm trying to find I'm, i was trying to find powerful banner unit characters that easy a so if they're in the realm of god goku i think that this would uh Kellen khalifa would be a very strong easy a for sure uh very needed especially with kale in the game um but once he easy aid he was hp attack and defense 150 percent and we could see that exact same thing happen for them and also the 120 percent for uh agl super agl types right which would be good for battlefield i think this is a perfectly good uh battlefield leader skill and and you know sometimes they'll release events where like particular leader skills are needed if this character is ever involved in a uh, extreme z area this would be a very powerful option for that as a leader so i do think there is some value in these leader skills despite you know for most of the game you're not going to be using them right uh, super attack uh, raises defense and causes colossal damage to enemies, so they do stack defense as well, right? Um, let's see, that's a 30% defensive raise for 99 turns, so basically the whole fight. Uh, and then, you know, same thing for this, right? Except they cause mega colossal damage to enemy. I think I could foresee them maybe keeping this at 30%, and then also maybe doing like attack and defense here. Uh, they could very well have them like raise attack and then have defense raised throughout the fight and then maybe increase this by 50%. But I think if they did that, uh, it would probably be too strong, right? But who knows, right? Doka could do anything. They could literally make this a top 10 unit in the game if they wanted to. They very well could. It's all up to who, who uh, you know, if they want to make LR Kellen Khalifa OP or not. But seeing them at 150% uh, defense for 99 turns they could be very strong a very powerful option for that for sure i think a good example i, I think something we could see <sighs> let's see god goku before he easy aid what was he doing for three turns 50 percent for 30 turns uh let's see what what is it afterwards for five turns right 50 percent for five turns wait 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 wait, wait. yeah 50 percent for five turns huh that is pretty good yeah, but I mean that's a different kind of thing than what Kale and Khalifa are doing, right? They're stacking. I don't, I don't know. They could very well give them 50% defense per uh, like per stack, but I think that could be a little crazy, right? Uh, I do understand if they don't do that, but 30% is fine, right? I just would like to see maybe attack, like them raise attack by 50% or 30% or 50% even, and then just like stack defense, right, per super attack. Uh, I'm not saying they need to stack attack. I'm just saying like raise their attack on super attack and then have them raise defense on. Uh, uh, super attack for the stack right and right now their passive skill is attack and defense 66 percent and launches an additional attack key plus one up to six and chance of evading enemies attack including super attack up to six uh, uh 
6%, up to 66% with each attack performed. Attack 10% uh, per universe 6 and join forces count. Oh, attack 10% universe 6 per universe 6 join forces or pure sans category ally on the team, which is a very powerful thing. Um, if they raise that to like 15%, maybe that'd be, that'd be fine. Or even just keep it a 10, honestly. We'll see what they do there. Um, or maybe even just give them... <laughs> Would it be too much to ask them for defense here? <laughs> just make them a super defensive juggernaut? I don't know. I think it, I don't think it's too much to ask for like 10% or even like, yeah, like 10% defense here. Maybe they could, if they, if they didn't give them like 50% defense, a defensive raise on their super tag, they could give them like 10% defense here, right? Per category ally on the team. That's joint forces, universe six of your stands. They could definitely do that for sure. Uh, category ally on the team launches an additional super attack when there is a universe survival saga or pure stands category enemy, which is not bad. Um, I think, well, I, I honestly don't really have a problem with this. I think we would make it better is if it were like enemy or ally, right? Um, because you're, you don't want like a super, you don't want a super, one super attack with Kelly Khalifa, you want multiple. And you're not going to be fighting. I don't think you're going to be fighting very many Universal Survival Saga character out like enemies in like red zone, in the toughest events, right? In like red zone and stuff like that. You probably won't be fighting them very often. Probably not at all, honestly. There, no, not at all. There's zero Universal Survival Saga uh, uh, red zone stages right now. But there is a there are there are a couple of pure sands. Oh my god. Yeah, just make this just make this uh, ally as well just go ahead and do that as make that universal survival saga or pure sense ally that'd be that'd be very beneficial for them for that extra uh attack race or, or that extra super attack for sure right um this could i could probably see maybe staying the same uh it depends on what they do with this i think right uh so if they if they change this we'll see how they we'll see if, if this is completely fine uh, it, it should be though, right? It should be. If they're if they give them defense here or, or like raise the defensive buff here, and then they also, you know, give them an, a, an extra ten percent defense here. Uh, that like that's that's perfect. Fine. That's an extra. That's sixty percent uh, defense, right? I, almost seven. No, seventy percent, right? Seventy percent defense here. If they gave them an extra ten percent defense, right? That's an extra seventy percent. So I, I don't foresee that being awful, right? And that, I'm assuming they count the uh, friend leader, the friend lead as well, right? Um, I might be wrong on that. Go ahead and correct me in the comments if I am. But I'm pretty sure they they count the uh, category, the the friend lead as well, right? So that that would be like a 70% buff if they added uh, defense here, which I think would probably be the most beneficial thing for them, right? Because this obviously is is gimmicky. Right, because you know they're universe six and there's two of them so, so universe six girls if they do something to this which i doubt they would we'll see we'll, we'll just literally have to see i think the most beneficial thing for them would be maybe upping their it would be nice if they just up their dodge chance uh i hate i really don't like the gimmicky little things that they do here i think it's stupid just stop doing that i get it they're universe six but do you have to include that in their passive it's, it's just kind of dumb to me um, but the attack, th this could be attack and defense for sure. Um, and then I, they, seeing this change to ally, which I think is, is very possible. They, I don't think there'd be any problem with them doing that. Right. Uh, it's just making this a universe enemy, universe of Bible saga enemy or ally like that, that could be very beneficial for them because then they have access to kale, which is very strong. You know, other than that, I can't really think of too many characters you want to run with them on universe six or universal survival saga like ui goku's good agl ui goku's strong but he gets hit pretty hard if he doesn't dodge uh and i guess if it's pure sand right joint forces it, it's not a bad awful team like you have these guys uh you have if you have these guys you have these guys in the easy a easy a you have the gods which is still a very strong unit uh, i would love to see them do something with this guy for sure um, them like you have some very strong pure sand options. Like I mean, this is a pure sand, obviously, but you do have some powerful pure sand options on the team for sure. 
Um, and then you also have these dudes, which could use an easy A probably in a later event. They do seem to be buffing Universal Survival Saga pretty consistently this year. Uh, GT and Universal Survival Saga, so we'll see what they do for the rest of the year. But I, I would like to see these guys get an easy A for sure. Um, that would just help out a, these guys uh, a ton. Um, and then you also have, where are they? Uh, they're right here. Yes, out these guys. So we could, we could, there's, there's some pretty good options on this team for sure that, that would be beneficial for them having that, uh, ally, you know, little ally buff instead of the enemy thing in their passive. Uh, but yeah, I think that's really all I'd like to see from them. I, I, like, I'd like to see maybe this upped, maybe some defense or maybe attack and then like a, an extra defense buff on their ultra super attack. Keep this 30%, right? Uh, but this, they could also do a, a, an attack buff here as well. Um, but yeah, I don't see a problem with them giving them, uh, raising attack and then also stacking defense here and then buffing this and then also giving 10% defense, uh, here as well. Just make them a very powerful defensive option, which, which is what they were when they, they came out, right? Like LR Kelly and Khalifa were possibly the best. I think they were the best unit in the game at the time when they came out. So very, they were very strong. I want to see that again. I would enjoy them to, uh, I would enjoy them coming out at some point right uh april 6th is when they easy a huh okay yeah i guess we can look forward to that i'll, I'll do a video on their things i'll, I'll like backtrack and see if i was correct about anything right uh, but i i think most likely we could see this turn into ally and then also a, a 10 percent buff here for defense as well I, i've said that plenty of times uh, but i think that's most likely what will happen I don't know about the attack and the defensive raise here, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what they do, right? Uh, it's all speculation at the end of the day. Now, for part two of the video, I want to talk about what kind of part two LR could be coming out. And I figured most of you guys already knew who I was going to be talking about here. We definitely will most likely be getting an LR hit. That seems most likely to me. It would be weird if they released like an LR Kava. I think that'd just be stupid. I don't like, I'm not the biggest fan of Kaba. I think Hit is more deserving of an LR than Kaba for sure. Hit has so many cool animations, dude, that they could just use for an LR Hit. They really need to. They they really, really do. Um, But LR Hit, uh, LR Hit seems most likely to me. I don't know what they could do, but please don't, just don't screw over Hit again. Like, we've had so many bad hits in the game. When this guy released, he was awful. Uh, and then he went the easy aid. He became good, but now his easy A is kind of like aged uh, because he's, he's the 2021 easy A, right? His easy A is two years old. So, um, yeah, man, we need to do hit in the game. We we, uh, we really do. He's super underutilized. What's what's hits? Uh, what's what's his character looking like in game? How much representation does he have? He has literally this hit and then LR hit and God Goku. But I don't even count. I, I really don't count duo cards because it's a duo card. It's not a standalone hit, right? So in the game, we have five hits. You have this guy who hasn't even awakened yet. You have this guy who hasn't, what was the last time he was returned? Uh, yeah, 2020, huh? All right, yeah, 2020, that's cool. Yeah, sure. Um, we did a new hit in the game. Uh, we, we, we really do. Uh, we, we seriously did a new hit. 2020, man, that guy's three years old. Um, this man, don't even get me started on this guy. 2017 came out before before AGL Super Saiyan uh, Gogeta and Broly uh, Super Dragon Ball Super Broly yeah we just we just need a better hit so I, I do foresee a new hit coming out in the game I think he'll be a pretty good option yellow coin LRs last year they did a pretty good job with yellow coin LRs some of them just needed help uh, golden freeze is still very very strong um so I I this will be a return uh Yellow coin LRs will be returning this celebration in part two. So we'll see probably a yellow coin hit. Uh, and if not, I I guess, like, I mean, who would they do? Because <laughs> we're getting an easy A for killing Khalifa. We already have one of them. I don't foresee them. Oh. Do you think they'd be crazy enough to do that? Do you think that they'd be crazy enough to do, like, a, a yellow coin LR? Don't, like, Kefla? I mean, she, Kefla has some pretty good representation. Hmm. I mean, obviously she could use more, right? Because units she has uh, aren't the craziest. I would also like 
one of these units to easy a like one of them please they're they're so bad she's whatever like she's solid i guess i guess uh but yeah she needs an easy a definitely um and she came out a year two years actually no oh no she came out a year before this one that's crazy to me <laughs> It was so bad, but I mean, it'd be insane. I don't think they'll do this, but th I guess they could do a, a, a yellow coin LR Kefla. I guess that, that would be pretty cool. I would prefer to see a Dokkan Fest of her, but sure, whatever. We don't, we still, I, you know what though? We still don't have a standalone. <laughs> I'm lying. I am lying, but we, I, we don't have a standalone Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. We don't. Um, we have, we have this person. We have base form Kefla, but we don't have a standalone Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. All of them transform into Super Saiyan 2 Kefla. So uh, we definitely could see a, a standalone Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, maybe. But I think mo most likely what's going to happen is we're going to get a hit. So uh, a hit. Now, if now if now unless Dokkan is just completely and fucking utterly out of their minds, they'll, they could give us an LR Kaba. Kaba is just... I, what has he got, man? I, I don't really see this unit being even... I honestly think this unit is less deserving of a fucking LR than D Videl. I, I, that, that's going to blow some people's heads off, but what does Kaba do exactly? What does he do? He goes Super Saiyan 2, and then what else? Uh, I guess he kind of goes Super Saiyan... He goes Super Saiyan... <laughs> He goes Super Saiyan against Vegeta in the in the, the uh, little Universe 6 versus Universe 7 tournament. Maybe I saw that. Yeah, I saw this guy. I don't know, man. I mean, maybe we could see another Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. I mean, this is this the only one we have? I guess so, huh? We only have Super Saiyan Kaba. I guess so. If Unless they go... Unless they're completely crazy. <sighs> I guess we could see a yellow coin Super Saiyan 2 Kaba. I mean, I would honestly, if I if I'm being honest, actually, I think I'd much rather save a uh, hit for like a Dokkan Fest LR over like Kaba. I think I think Kaba could be fine for a Yellow Coin LR. No, one really, I'm not gonna want to fucking summon for Kaba, so that that'd be a super easy skip. Uh, like a Super Set Two Kaba Yellow Coin LR, they very well could do that, huh? The more and more I'm thinking about it, the, they could do that. They could save LR hit for like a Dokkan Fest. Oh my god. Imagine if they do this, right? They like I don't I'm not saying this is gonna be a thing, but imagine if one of these celebrations, like New Year's or something like that, right? Uh they they give us like an LR a, a dual Dokkan Fest LR hit and LR Ke Kefla. <laughs> like imagine if that were the case. That could be pretty hype. I, I I think people would be very happy with that. Maybe not on New Year's, but like another one of these celebrations. Or just give us a Dokkan Fest LR hit uh, and and Kefla. That'd be cool think just at, at any point in time uh i think that'd be pretty cool maybe worldwide download celebration who fucking knows who knows who knows i i don't think they do that for a worldwide download celebration because those are usually safe for like sands and stuff like that right um those big big celebrations like that but i think we could very well see like an lr hidden lr kefla at some point uh outside of this event they maybe they maybe i mean now maybe i'm just like being radicalized by my own thought process here but dude we it'd be scary if, if super saiyan 2 kaba was the lr here right i maybe who knows man they could do that and i'm not saying it'll be hype i think it'll be the most unhype release they've ever done in dokkan ever but we could see it happen right if if they're uh out of their out of their brains um but yeah i guess that's all i really want to say today um actually i guess there's one more thing um where is he um champa champa I think we could see a Champa at some like an LR Champa or something like that, right? I think we could definitely see that. Uh, Champa needs more representation in the game. Uh, it, it's actually disappointing what he has. He has this unit and then this unit. I'm not even going to count this guy because he's fucking useless. Like, literally does nothing. Uh, and then this guy is just like, whatever, still. Like, as, as well. Literally, this is the best version of Kaba we have. Um, Yeah, Kaba, Kaba needs uh, more. Uh, Champa, jeez, not Kaba. Champa needs more um, representation for sure. Um, but I, that's the last one I'm going to bring up. I, I I don't see what else they could do. Maybe they do like an LR of these guys, but who knows? It, most likely it'll be a hit, right? A hit, a hit or Kefla is most likely what's going to be the case. I think they'll probably save Kefla for like a uh, a sand celebration at some point, but we'll, we'll see for sure. 
Um, anyway, that's going to do for today, guys. Let me guys know what you guys think in the comments. Who do you guys think is going to be the new uh, LR this coming celebration? We'll probably get the announcement sometime this week, I think. Uh, probably at some point this week. Or maybe next week, right? Because we're getting Kill and Kill Leafla's easy A details this week. So maybe some point next week, I think we'll see the announcement for the uh, new Part 2 LR, right? Alrighty, everybody. So this uh, is a day later. LR Kill and Kill Leafla's easy A came out. Uh, easy A details came out. And I felt it'd be appropriate. And I would feel I can't in good conscience post the video that I originally wanted to post without adding on to this. Uh, without adding on to it with their actual details, just to kind of backtrack and see if we were correct in any sort of capacity. <clears throat> and a lot of people are going to be disappointed with their EZA. I'm going to read out the details and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll go through it and I'll talk about it and everything. But uh, a lot of people are going to be disappointed. But I just, I, I want to say that they're not as bad as people are making them out to be. Um, they, they are, they, they're about as strong as LR Beerson and Luis, and that's kind of what you want them to be. Uh, right now, they're fine. They're perfectly fine, right? They're, they're, they're a strong option. They definitely are very strong. So, enough uh, enough of the foreplay. Let's hop right into it. Let's see what they're they're doing, right? So, drawing forces, category key plus four, HP, attack, and defense, 150%. We expected that. I think we talked about that last time. Uh, right? And also, let's see, uh, raises. Okay, yeah, and we have the HGL key. Oh, they didn't raise that to 120 what was that before? Yeah, they didn't raise that to 120. That's very strange. Okay, whatever. Uh, raises defense. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe that makes sense. Maybe that makes I don't know. I don't know. Raises defense. Uh, did they change that at all? It's not that. Did they change that even a little bit? Uh, no, it's still 30%. And it looks like this is going to be 30% too. Um, yeah, um, okay, they didn't, they didn't raise their defense on super attack. That's fine. I mean, I just, I would have liked to have seen, like, attack right there. I mean, we, we talked about in the, that in the beginning of the video. Um, oh, oh, Jesus, what the, what the flip is happening, dude? Okay, I think we're fine. I just said, unironically, what the flip, that, that's, that's really scary. This is a really scary time for me. All right, stop doing that. Please and thank you. Okay. Uh, so their passive, key plus three, attack and defense, 130%. That definitely went up. I think it went, went up by 70. Around 70%. Yeah, around 70. Um, okay. I mean, that's good. That's good. Uh, attack and defense, uh, 130%. Launches an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack. What is the chance? Okay, a 50% chance. That's it. Okay. Um, of becoming a super attack plus an additional attack and defense 66% and launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when HP is 66% or less. Okay, key plus one up to six and chance of evading enemies attack including uh, super attack uh, for 6% uh, up to 66%. So this is unchanged, uh, but 66% is fine, whatever. That's a good chance to dodge. With each attack performed, uh, okay, they didn't raise the, they didn't do the, anything with this. So attack and defense, uh, attack, attack 10% per universe six and join forces or pure sands category ally on the team launches an additional super attack when there is a universe survival saga or pure sands category enemy. Yeah. Very minimal changes for them. Um, Really, all they did was give them a 70% uh, raise this up, give them 70% uh, more attacking defense on uh, at the start of turn, and then and then they gave, made this uh, a guaranteed additional. Hmm. Uh, gave her two. Uh, she can do four additionals instead of three now. Okay. I mean, she's still good. Don't get me wrong. They're still good. I just don't know why. They, they could have done more for sure. Like like I said, they could have done something with the defense here. Like a, an extra 10% defense here would not have been bad. Um, at all for them. But it's just very strange that they didn't do that. But maybe that'd make them too good. Um, 
But again, like I do prefer my units to be a little bit more defensive than attack heavy. Seeing big attack numbers are super fun, don't get me wrong. Uh, but it's fine. Like in, in Broly, you, you can't run her in Broly. Uh, you couldn't run her in Broly, you can't run her in uh, uh, in Android 13's Extreme Super, I mean not Extreme Super Battle Robe, uh, in their red zone. The dodge chance is a very big part of her kit, I'm, I'm feeling like. We'll see what she looks like in-game, right? Obviously. We, we Nobody could say for sure, but I think they'll be fine. I think they will be fine. Um, God Goku is almost kind of the same way. People thought they were there. He was awful. Um, and then it turns out he was pretty good. So we'll see. We'll see. Right? But I, anyway, I just wanted to add this on. Kind of see where I was right, where I was wrong. And I think the only thing I was right about was... Uh, this right here they didn't do anything else with this uh easy a uh, other than you know provide that extra stats boost and then give them two additional super attacks so we'll see we'll see uh, i'm sure they'll be fine i'm sure they'll be fine let me know what you guys think of the easy a kelly Khalifa. uh that's gonna do it for today's video guys guys i really appreciate you guys being here thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in the next one